We create way too much garbage, and we're running out of places to put it. Our water, air, land are all being polluted by very dangerous chemicals. We're cutting down trees faster than we can replant them. Wild animals are losing their homes. All these problems are man-made, and all the solutions have to be man-made, too. We have to take back our planet from trash and pollution and create a healthy environment for all of us to live in. A friend of mine came to me a couple of years ago with a very simple idea to do a music video to create public awareness about the importance of recycling. Two years later, with a lot of people's positive energy, time, work, and effort, we've created a national campaign that this music video has become the centerpiece of. My name is Jolie Jones. I'm the president of the Take It Back Foundation. I hope you'll enjoy what you're about to see. So that's the music video, and that's how it started. Maybe you recognize that song, or maybe you're just not quite old enough yet. It was a big hit in the 50s by a group called The Coasters, and it was written by a classic songwriting team, Lieber and Stoller, who very generously donated this song to us to use for this campaign. It was called Yakety Yak, Don't Talk Back, and now with the help of Lieber and Stoller, it's called Yakety Yak, Take It Back. So when we finished this video, we were very excited and we wanted to try to get as many people to see it as possible. So we went to a very large theater chain and we asked them if they'd run it as a trailer in the movies. And they agreed. So go see it. 
We thought even more people could see it if we made shorter versions of it for television. And that's what you're about to see right now. Check us out. Pick out the papers from the trash. Cans and bottles, you can cash. We better just recycle more. We're not gonna rock and roll no more. Yaggity yeah, take it back. Yaggity yeah, take it back. Yaggity yeah, take it back. Take it all, take it all, take it all, take it all. Here I am at A&M Studios where we recorded and filmed everything. A&M has a tradition of donating their facilities to projects to better the planet. So while we had all these talented people together, we planned ahead, we got some environmental experts together with our writers, and we put together the 20 most critical issues that people needed to be aware of, and we developed these public service announcements that you're about to see now. Listen to me. Do not, I repeat, do not ever throw a bottle or can out of your car window onto the highway. If you do, I will follow your car, I will come to your house, and I will tell you to your face, take it back, recycle it, and believe me, I can get very nasty. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Did you know that the biggest user of paper in the world is the federal government? That thing they call red tape is unrecycled paper. It's our trees they're wasting. We have to tell them to take it back. Call your congressman, call the president. They work for us. We recycle, so should they. Tell them to take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. The energy saved by recycling just one aluminum can could operate a television set for three hours. For every four feet of newspaper you recycle, one tree is saved. The energy saved by recycling just one glass bottle could light a 100-watt bulb for four hours. It's good to recycle because the world can get trashed up and we don't want that to happen in our world. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. A lot of people change the oil in their car themselves. That's great. Then they toss the old oil in the trash. Bad. Want to know how bad? The 11 Exxon Valdez tankers a year bad. That's just what we tossed away. So take your used oil to a recycling center. If you see someone about to toss their oil in the garbage, tell them to take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. If someone tried to shove a tree in your mailbox, you'd tell them to take it back, right? Well, this stuff they call junk mail, you get about a tree and a half worth of it every year. A tree and a half in your mailbox every year. So you want to do something good? Write or call the company and ask to be taken off the mailing list. Write them, call them, and tell them to take this junk back. 
Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Take it back. You take it back, I take it back, he takes it back. Take it back. Cowboys take it back. When you don't recycle, the earth will be trashed and um, the garbage cans will be filled and stuff. Let's all take it back. Yeah, take it back. Take it back! There's a point to all of this. Take it back, take it back, take it back, take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. You got a little cassette player. You got a box. Kids got toys with batteries. I got bad news for you. Those batteries you throw away are loaded with mercury, and the mercury you throw away gets into the soil. Bad, bad, bad. Use rechargeable batteries. And if you see someone tossing out a battery, instead of taking it to a recycling center, tell them to take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Every year, Americans throw away 25 billion polystyrene cups. One dollar out of every ten dollars we spend on food pays for packaging. Less than one percent of the plastic we use is recycled. Every year, we throw out enough office and writing paper to build a wall 12 feet high stretching from Los Angeles to New York City. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. The next time you get mail from your congressman, see if it's printed on recycled paper. If it's not, tell him to take it back. The people we elect need to get the message that everyone needs to recycle, including the government. It's your vote. If they don't recycle, tell them you'll take it back. It's good to recycle because the world can get trashed up and we don't want that to happen in our world. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. I'm here telling you about recycling because I believe that all of us should be concerned about our environments. It's a pain at first, but it gets easier as time goes by. And it also gives you a great feeling, an honest feeling, that you're doing something for the good of our environment. So come on, it's everybody's turn to take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. You know how important it is to recycle, to separate cans and bottles and papers. That's just half of it. Here's the other half. We need to buy recycled products. So if you have a choice, always buy the recycled one. There are two simple rules. First you take it back, then you buy it back. That's really taking it back home. So take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Imagine eight feet of stacked newspapers, got it? That's the same as one mature tree. We gotta cut down on cutting down trees, so don't just read the paper. Recycle it. We've done enough damage. It's time to take it back. It's good to recycle because the world can get trashed up and we don't want that to happen in our world. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Every expert says the simplest and most important thing each of us can do for our environment is to recycle. Keep the newspapers, bottles, and cans out of the landfills. We're simply running out of room. We can't keep throwing everything away. So get with the program. Separate the papers, the bottles, and the cans and put them by the curb. You put it out, they take it back. Do it. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Don't pick it up if you can't take it back. Haste and waste creates a veritable death trap. When you dump on your mother, you're killing your brothers. Recycle, reduce, reuse. Take it back. Every week, a half million trees are cut down to make the Sunday newspapers we read and then throw out. That's a lot of trees. Don't stop reading the paper. Stop throwing it out. Recycle. Take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. We Americans go through two and a half million plastic bottles every hour, every day of the year. Americans throw away enough aluminum every three months to rebuild all our commercial airplanes. Did you know that two weeks of your daily newspaper equals one mature tree? 
Some communities now pay more for waste disposal than for police services. Is that where you want your tax dollars to go? Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. After you mow the lawn, you know what happens to the clippings? Well, right now, it makes up 30% of the waste in our landfills. It's crazy. Lawn clippings and leaves should be recycled. If they're not being recycled where you live, call the mayor. Tell him to take it back. Hey, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back! Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Now, this is going to sound really nuts to you, but uh, some cities are taking bottles and cans and newspapers, you know, stuff that's supposed to be recycled, and you know what they do with it? They incinerate it. And that burns me up. If that's what they're doing where you live, if they're burning the stuff, you know what to do, don't you? You call City Hall and you tell them, take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Recycling is using stuff over and over again to help save the earth. Recycling is to use something over and over and never waste it. Every scientist and every expert says the simplest and most important thing each of us can do for the environment is to recycle. Keep cans, bottles, and papers out of our landfills so they can get recycled. Take it back. Take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Back. Please take it back. Come on now. Take it back. Clean it up. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Please let me out of here. Take it back. Hey, you Glee. Take it back before we take you back. Take it back. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Don't be no square. Don't be no chap. Don't make this earth a garbage dump. The planet screams no more funk. There's no more room for no more junk. Buy stuff that's recycled. Recycle the stuff you buy. Take it back. Now you've seen our campaign. What started out as a small music video developed into a music video and PSAs that will be shown in the theaters, a CD in the stores, a cassette, a book, a teacher's guide for schools. We're proud of what we've done, and we hope it makes a difference. Now we want to show you a little bit of what it was like the two crazy days that we shot this music video and public service announcements. Yuck it in, yuck, take it back, we cannot no longer sit on our butt, sweetheart, and tolerate the actions against nature that we've been doing for the love of money. One, two, one, two, in the place to be. I am the MC, Joan LLC, the sure shot body rock. And as sure as your mind is dizzy, we about to rip it up and go get busy. Put the yaggy yak, the snake snack, and the whole pack, the whole crew, and tell you what to do. And Joan Lopez about to kick it off something like this. Check this out. Pick out the papers from the trash. Recently, a group of musicians gathered at historic A&M Studios in Hollywood to record an anthem for recycling. It was on this very lot six years ago that Quincy Jones produced USA for Africa's We Are the World. This time around, it was Quincy's daughter, Jolie Jones, who collected musical artists from heavy metal, R&B, country, rap, hip-hop, and pop to help make a music video encouraging all of us to do our part for the environment. The recycling theme began with the chosen song, a new version of the 50s rock and roll classic, Yakety Yak, updated into Yakety Yak, Take It Back. This is the story behind the making of the music video. It always feels good to see that the uh, 
community, you know, come together behind something important. Hello. What do you think? And I love the rewrite, especially the last verse. I look forward to working with you. Oh, oh my was there and all. God. It was like a... Ah. Yeah. How's it going, man? It's going great. Yeah. The thing that really got me was when we started recycling in our house. Then the more I learned about uh, the solid waste problems and issues, I realized that anybody that really cares about doing something for the environment, this covers everything. And uh, an advertising guy that I know, his name is Pacey Markman, came up to me in a meeting and said to me, I think we could do a music video on recycling. I really think it could make a big difference. As I told Pacey, I said it's a very big copyright to ask somebody to just hand over to you. And that was it. It's just like giving a scent of meat to a pit bull. Yeah, give it, yeah. Take it back. If you don't have to go to school, the teacher is simple. Listen to me. Do not, I repeat, do not ever throw a bottle or can out of your car window onto the highway. If you do, I will follow your car, I will come to your house, and I will tell you to your face, take it back, recycle it, and believe me, I can get very nasty. Okay, so we probably, so we probably cut to a reverse, but things being what they are, we're better off letting you sing down. You don't ever, ever cut away. I would, that's, that we can't. I, that's what I mean. That's, that's, like, that's what I was just saying, wasn't it? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Here he comes. Recycling is easy. Separate everything into its own category. Glass goes in one container, aluminum in another, then tin, paper, cardboard, and so on. If you don't have room where you live for several bags, put everything in one and separate when you return them. Okay, and how, how, what is happening right then? It's is just, it just the rhythm you, track. In other words, you get a fade get, out on it, Yeah, we right? fade out on that. Take it on back. Yeah. Be nice, Mama Earth. Take it on back. Woo! Yeah. I'm out here with that. I'll do it again. Yaggedy yak, take it back. Yaggedy yak, take it back. I think it's crazy for us to make things we can't get rid of. And some of the things that we make don't go away. And they're going to be here on and on and on. And we'll finally have a mountain of styrofoam cups and such things that we can't get rid of. So I'm very much in favor of recycling. After you mow the lawn, you know what happens to the clippings? Well, right now, it makes up 30% of the waste in our landfill. It's crazy. Lawn clippings and leaves should be recycled. If they're not being recycled where you live, call the mayor. Tell him to take it back. Hey, take it back. Take it back. Take it back. Take it back! The solid waste problem in the United States is staggering. Every category of waste material has a proper environmental treatment route. Unfortunately, we're taking the materials in our waste and we're sending them to places that they don't belong. And when you do that, you cause pollution. I'm fine, thanks. How are you? Good. How many times have we walked through this? We've been here before, haven't we? You can say anything you want in this room, man. This is our room. Well, I'm guilty, like most people have been, <laughs> not doing everything I should do. And so I'm doing better. If somebody don't start to try to do something about cleaning up the planet, it will continue to get worse and worse and worse. So I thought maybe this would be good as a start. Don't think this earth a garbage dump. This planet screaming no more fun. There's no more room for no more junk. Yak and yak, take it back. A lot of people change the oil in their car themselves. That's great. Then they toss the old oil in the trash. Bad. Want to know how bad? 11 Exxon Valdez tankers a year bad. That's just what we tossed away. So take your used oil to a recycling center. If you see someone about to toss their oil in the garbage, tell them to take it back. So let's get them up and try. Let's get, let's get you up there and we'll get you to rehearse, and hopefully by then we will have made a new tape. Okay, yeah, we can try. Yeah. You want to walk around this way? We'll yeah. take a long time. Music is universal, no matter what type it is. And it's kind of like being at Farm Aid. 
And when I was there, you know, it was every type of music uh, that you can name was represented and everybody was wandering around backstage and everybody was just happy and everybody was working together for one common goal. And it's, it's really something to be able to do that. If someone tried to shove a tree in your mailbox, you'd tell them to take it back, right? Well, this stuff they call junk mail, you get about a tree and a half worth of it every year. So you want to do something good? Write or call the company, ask to be taken off the mailing list, and tell them to take this junk back. Just write a letter, make a call. The music video was co-directed by animation specialist Michael Patterson, creator of Paula Abdul's Opposites Attract video, and ZZ Top's music video director, Tim Newman. Jolie's husband, Stuart Levine, record producer for Simply Red and B.B. King, arranged and produced the music. And basically, we're having a recycling party in this video. It's like a big raucous thing, you know? And, and make every star look good, and make every star have like a little bit of his own essence in the piece. One of the things that we talked about, Mike uh, Patterson and, and Stuart and I, was that we were going to get a chance to do pictures and music uh, in a different way than any of us had before. It's a monumental task. I don't think it's ever been done this way. You know, usually the film is made and then we make the music, or the music is made and we make the film. This was conceived originally by Tim Newman and myself to be um, co-related. We were supposed to work as one. And what Stewart does modifies what we're doing, and what we're doing and suggesting then modifies what he does in the studio. We finish a little piece with an artist, and they immediately go over to the sound stage and do their um, their film bit. We have to rush a tape over with what amounts to being their performances. So this is a unique situation. Have you met Tim Newman? No, huh? Tim Newman, Hi, Tim. Uh, co director thanks for, thanks of the for video. coming. Oh, no. Well, you got your, your dream right now. <laughs> no, Let me good. play you the top. Are you guys following me around? <laughs> play more guitar. <laughs> Tim Newman. See, I'm not a hippie anymore. Kenny Hi, Kenny. How are you? How nice you doing? To meet you. I've done a lot of benefits over the years, and gradually you realize that we've reached a point, at least in my priorities, we've reached a point where all these other benefits, as worthy as they, as they are, are really secondary to the most primary focus, which is the earth. I want to be involved because I want my children to be the beneficiaries of our work. I don't want to leave the work to them. Going in. Roll video. Back. Every expert says the simplest and most important thing each of us can do for our environment is to recycle. Keep the newspapers, bottles, and cans out of the landfills. We're simply running out of room. We can't keep throwing everything away. So get with the program. Separate the papers, the bottles, and the cans and put them by the curb. You put it out, they take it back, do it. If you don't have curbside pickup where you live, here are a couple of things you can do. First, contact local officials and tell them you want a curbside recycling program for your neighborhood. Then check the yellow pages for your nearest recycling center and bring it there yourself. Easy. The second line in the song is what I was hoping you could do, which is, um, um, what is it? Cans and, bottles, cans and bottles, you get cash. And then if you could just run through a chorus, you got to take it back, we're out of here. Okay, fine. Cans and bottles, you get cash. We get it every I guess down low there is better, huh? I mean, the only other place to come up on it, but... Cans and bottles, you get cash. It could be better for me there. Okay. Okay, we'll go again. Cans. Yeah.
Recycling is one thing that people can really do to make a difference in the environment. It's one concrete action you can take every day that really has an impact. It not only uh, preserves natural resources, it also conserves energy, it reduces pollution. I mean, it touches the environment in a lot of different ways. My daughter is very um, conscious of, of conserving and recycling, and she's always encouraged me to do it. I think a lot of the kids today, I think it's because they're worried about when they get older, what's the planet going to be like if we keep messing it up and, and making everything unusable for them. That felt nice. Okay, here we go. We're rolling. Uh, Brenda Russ Apple, take three. Mark in. And action. This is a polystyrene cup, right? It's bad. This is a cup you don't throw away. That's good. Bring one of these to work with you, and you're helping save the environment. That's a cut. Okay, let's... This is the studio. Uh where we're going to put your voices on. Okay, here we go. Even if it isn't right, make the mistake loud. I have a five-year-old, and um, now is the time when she knows more about what bags are biodegradable than my husband. She's very in tune with what's happening. They teach it in school, and um, you know we practice it at home. Does that sound, is it, is the balance better for you? Oh yeah, a little bit. I could just use a little, I don't know. Give me just a little more of me, just a little. Sure. Yeah, because it's, it's making me flat, whatever it is. It's working for me. Well, if it's okay with you and it's fine, I just don't want to bring the whole thing down and make it. No, fine. no, I mean, I, it, it's doing what I kind of wanted to do, which is to give it more of a, a, a little dirtier sound, you know. Okay. Don't be no square, don't be no jump. I think there are, you know, endless things that you could do. Recycling is part of it. The most important thing I think that America needs to do is educate itself. So this message, take it back, is saying you can't throw it away. We've got to learn to live like nature. We are the only living creature with a waste problem. People talk about the three R's. Reduction, reuse, recycling. But the most important R of all is responsibility. Just write a letter, make a call. Sign a petition and one more. Make them get it at your door. Yeah, get it, yeah. Huh. Here we go. I've been trying to do my little part. You know, I don't know too, too much about it, but I've been learning. I've been reading some booklets and you know, what to recycle and what not to buy and what to buy and stuff. And it's very interesting. People, I, I think more people should really get into it, try to understand, because this is their world. Take it all, take it all, take it back. Huh. Here we go. For real, ladies and gentlemen, it's a chance to just take it. I'll be sure for really never faking it. Well, you could take it back or either fake it. And that way we all won't make it. You know how important it is to recycle. To separate cans and bottles and paper. That's just half of it. Here's the other half. We need to buy recycled products. So if you have a choice, always buy the recycled one. The two simple rules. First you take it back, then you buy it back. Recycling goes beyond the home. Start a recycling program in your office for white and yellow paper and cardboard. Look on the label to make sure that your office supplies, like computer and Xerox paper, are made from recycled materials. take it back. Yuckety yuck, take it back. Yuckety yuck, take it back. Great. Okay. Great. Now we got two more of these choruses. All right, Same all right. thing. We get it just recycled all. We're not going to rock and roll no more. Yuckety yuck, it? Why is it left for rock and rollers and entertainers to save the day, you know? Why doesn't these big industries start getting the stuff together and getting it down? Because they don't, they're the ones that pollute the most. Because if we don't do something now, our kids are going to have nothing but a big 
ball of pollution to live in when they're older. Perfect. Well, we came a long way in a half hour. <laughs> good deal, man. Enjoy it. I wish I could make my own records use first. <laughs> <laughs> the main one there is make them get it at your door, you know, and if you could just um, make that feel comfortable. He, you are never going to end up singing with his phrase in any way on this, so don't let him get in your way. If you'd like after a minute, I'll pull him out. B.B. King, who's in in about a half hour, is going to sing that line with you. Okay. So you lay it down for B.B. Okay. When I watch specials on TV go. that show that uh, rainforests are being cut down, knowing that trees are always something that was important to me, and the fact that there's so much pollution, uh, along with the ozone layer being broken down, I thought that was a very important thing as well. That's kind of scary. And what's more, make them get it at your door. yeah, take it back, Differently? Try it again. I'll relax a bit. Just yeah. Basic. Yeah. Basic. Play that! We get a dirty cycle on. We not gonna rock and roll no more. Yaggity, yeah. Take it back. Don't be no square, don't be no jump. Don't make this earth a garbage dump. This plan is screaming no more fun. There's no more room for no more. Don't pick it up if you can't take it back. Haste and waste creates a veritable death trap. When you dump on your mother, you're killing your brothers. Recycle, reduce, reuse. Take it back. Think about what's going to happen to the packaging before you buy a product. Avoid excess packaging, especially if it's made from non-recyclable plastics or styrofoam. If it can't be recycled, choose one that can and let manufacturers know why you've changed brands. What says you can't buy City Hall? I love it, Natalie. Okay. You happy with that? Yeah. You got a little cassette player. You got a box. Your kids got toys with batteries. And I got bad news for you. Those batteries you throw away are loaded with mercury. And the mercury you throw away gets into the soil. Bad, bad, bad. Use rechargeable batteries. And if you see someone tossing out a battery, instead of taking it to a recycling center, tell them to take it back. It's incredible, but glass, aluminum, paper, resources that require trees to be cut down, oil to be imported from the Middle East, oil to be uh, acquired from offshore drilling. These resources are not being reintroduced into our manufacturing sector, where they would produce jobs and save energy, but they're winding up in incinerators and dumps. There is no federal mandate in this country to recycle these materials. It is legal to throw out valuable resources. It is legal to throw out valuable resources. Did you know that the biggest user of paper in the world is the federal government? That thing they call red tape is unrecycled paper. It's our trees they're wasting. We have to tell them to take it back. Call your congressman, call the president. They work for us. We recycle, so should they. Tell them to take it back. Who are we as great as we are as human beings? And we're the greatest power on this earth. But who are we to destroy the butterfly which we cannot create? So there's no point in putting this out on the street if it's just a piece of film and it's three minutes and it's over with. It has to be the beginning of a proper education for the layman. Now, if we get it right, I know we're going to make a difference with this one.
The Take It Back Foundation was created in 1990 to help people take better care of the earth. The more people know about environmental problems, the easier it'll be to fix them. There are many simple things we can do to stop hurting our planet. We started out as a few friends wanting to use our energy and talents to do something to better the environment. And the next thing we knew, two years had gone by and we'd gathered virtually an entire army. These names may not be as recognizable as the stars in the video, but believe me, they've been equally as important to the project. It couldn't have been done without them, and there are many others too numerable to list. Don't ever think that as an individual, you can't make a difference because you can. Change can happen with each of us taking responsibility for correcting our old habits. There are many simple things we can do to stop hurting our planet. We need to reduce, reuse, recycle, and buy recycled. Let's start the recycling evolution. Let's all work together to take it back. By an act of human kindness, we have entered where none have gone before us. But in matters fundamental, we are patterned. On an old design. Welcome back, Tyrannosaurus. Evolution is a state of mind. We have filled the halls of science with the bones of mighty giants. They've been there for generations Buried under our foundations It's a page right out of history Everything is still a mystery All except for one distinction we can stop our own extinction We have set ourselves apart From all that's come before us But it matters fundamental We are victims of our own design Your chance, Tyrannosaurus. Maybe we can get it right this time. Grab a club and leave the chorus. Evolution is a state of mind.